and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Maui. Maui. Yeah, I got the little malt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, today is kind of special review because it's beer review 1400. Woo! And. Yeah, you can stop now. Okay. <laughs> Maui's. <laughs> uh, Maui's a term he coined. And. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go into more into that, but the beer for Beer 1400 is for 5050 Brewing Company, and it's a 5050 Eclipse Imperial Stout from 2013, and this is the Java version, the Java blend, and it's on 11.9%. This uh, is a blend, 45%, uh, the, uh, 5050 Eclipse Elijah Craig, 12-year-old, blended with some kind of Imperial Stout called Totality, I think. Which was 15%, and then the rest is coffee. So uh, mm. that's pretty interesting. We got it poured here, and that's pretty much a pitch by color, I'd say. There's a little reddish, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, and mm -hmm. kind of tan head. So let's take out the aroma. Hmm. Uh, sweet, sweet notes. I'm actually not getting too much barrel character. No. Well, a little bit, but yeah, but not insane amounts. But that's, that might be because it's a 50% of it is only that barrel. I, 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 I think. I get a little bit of the, uh, the barrel, yeah. Yeah. But, but this is sweet. sweet. Yeah. Like sweet. sweet. I'm thinking almost like oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Really kind, way. Of, kind of, yeah. Into that. And I'm also picking up on the coffee. And then kind of roasty, chocolatey notes. That's also a candy-like. Candy -like. Yeah. Vanilla. Actually, a good kick of vanilla. That's also like a candy-like smell to it. Yeah. I can't really put my finger on it, but... It has this candy kind of that sweet component. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But nowhere near as complex as I thought it would be. I don't think it's super complex on the aroma. Mm -hmm. That one's good though. But yeah, it smells really nice. Yeah, yeah. It smells really nice. But yeah, yeah, it's good. Taste. Cheers, baby. 1400. Cheers. Thanks and cheers. cheers. Hope to see a lot more beer reviews with me. Mm -hmm. Lots of bitter coffee on the flavor, I think, but a good kick of sweetness as well. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's very balanced. It's really balanced, balanced yeah. I, I've tried the uh, the Lash Creek, was it 2012 version? Yeah. yeah. And that was like, it had a lot of uh, alcohol burn, was really hot. Yeah, this doesn't really... No, this is... Uh, well, that might be because it's blended beers. This is really nice. Compared yeah. To, compared, I, I mean, I, I like the other one, but this is really smooth. And sweet and rounded. Yeah. I'm also getting some dark, but it's, I don't think it's like really mind blowing though. It's not like, no. wow, this is really yeah. smooth and mm -hmm. yet still roasty and coffee forward. Yeah. In a way. And I'm also getting coffee. some dark fruit and some kind of yeah. chocolatey notes. And, and you also get that sticky. Not mm, too yeah. much barrel on. Not too But again, it's only 45% of it's a barrel age. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's actually fairly drinkable for 11.9%. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I didn't yeah. taste the 11.9 at all. There's mm -hmm. no yep. trace of it. There's a lot of different also like it's, it's, it. it's more complex on the flavor than the aroma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much more complex. Um, I was getting a little bit of a sweet molasses almost brown sugar or sugar nut to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I said anything. What are you picking up? I've said enough. <laughs> well, definitely some molasses and some licorice, caramelly kind of thing. Oh, but it, yeah. the yeah. thing is, it's so balanced and thing. Yeah, the but flavors. You flavors can still well. taste that it's complex in its own sense, but it's really well balanced. Mm -hmm. One thing I think they should do, though, I know it's kind of cool that they do the thing with the wax, and the wax indicates what beer it is. But it would be quite nice if they just, with a marker or something, put like a small. Whatever, not necessarily writing what it is, the number for what it is or whatever, because the, the, the Elijah Craig looks a, a lot like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, I actually had to ask this. This is the Java version, right? <laughs> so, yeah. well, yeah. It's, it's, it's really, really hard to see the difference between the lavender or, or and the, the pink. Yeah, and... But is there chili in this beer? Or is, no, I think no. it, has, it has a little... It might be alcohol then, then, or the burn, too, yeah. but I'm not really picking... Or maybe no. it's leftover from <laughs> the chili beer. I don't know. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> but it's, it's really nice. So uh, let's start from one end. Grading. I would say, yeah, straight up 90. 87? I was thinking straight up 90 as well. 94? 
I really do enjoy it. I really like the sweetness going on. I really enjoy it. It's just uh, the there's also some nice coffee. Yeah, there is. Flavor too. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I just like the, the Eclipse we had the Brewmaster Grand Cru, which much more in your face. But that was also a blend of only different barrel age. Yeah, but this, the, this one that. is more balanced. more balanced. Yes, and I really do enjoy that more. Yeah. So really yeah. like like the coffee. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that does it for beer review fourteen hundred of the Eclipse fifty fifty Eclipse Java version or Java blend. I can't remember the exact name. But uh, thanks to these guys for joining. See you guys in a whole lot mess of more reviews, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, and check out, check out the <laughs> Facebook fan page and Twitter. <laughs> that was awkward. Yeah. And we're gonna say cheers. <laughs> Lit. 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 And see you guys in another beer review.